أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبح اسم ربك الأعلى Glorify the name of your Lord, the Most High الذي خلق فسوى Who created and fashioned in due proportion والذي قدر فهدى and who made all things according to a measure, then guided them as to, as to how to function and yield the benefits for which they were created. And who brings forth the pasturage. Then makes it wither after it was lush and green. We will teach you the Quran so you will not forget. إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى except what Allah wills for indeed he knows what is openly known and what is hidden ونيسرك لليسرى and we will guide you to the easy path فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى so remind people if the reminder will be of benefit سيذكر من يخشى The one who fears Allah will pay heed ويتجنبها الأشقى While the wretched one will avoid it الذي يصل النار الكبرى The one who will enter the great fire ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا In which he will neither die nor live قد أفلح من تزكى. He will indeed attain true success who purifies himself. وذكر رسم ربه فصلى. And reflects upon the sublime names of his Lord, so he prays. بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا. But you prefer the life of this world. والآخرة خير وأبقى. Even though the hereafter is better and more lasting. Verily, this was in the earlier scriptures. The scriptures of Ibrahim and Musa. Here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enjoins us to glorify Him, which includes remembering Him, worshipping Him, humbling oneself before His majesty, and submitting to His greatness. That glorification should be befitting to the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by mentioning His names that are more sublime than any other names because of their beautiful and great meanings. And He mentions His actions, among which is the fact that He created and fashioned all creatures, that is, He perfected them and made them well, and who made all things according to a measure, then guided them. This is general guidance, which means that He guides all creatures to attain that which is in their best interest. He also mentions worldly blessings. And he says, and who brings forth the pasturage. That is, he sends down water from the sky which causes all kinds of plants and herbs to grow. Then people, livestock, and all kinds of animals eat from it. Then after this vegetation reaches maturity, it begins to decline. Then he makes it wither after it was lush and green. That is, he causes it to turn black, shrivel up, and become dry. And he mentions his religious blessings, including the foremost blessing that Allah has bestowed, namely the Qur'an. We will teach you the Qur'an so you will not forget. That is, we will cause you to remember what we have revealed to you of the book, and we will cause you to remember it by heart, so that you will not forget anything of it. That is great glad tidings from Allah to his slave and messenger Muhammad wasallam. that Allah would teach him knowledge and not cause him to forget it, except what Allah wills, as dictated by his wisdom, causing him to forget for an ultimate purpose. For indeed he knows what is openly known and what is hidden, and therefore he knows what is good for his slaves, and for that reason he prescribes whatever he wills and judges as he wills. And we will guide you to the easy path. This is also great glad tidings, that Allah would guide his messenger وسلم, to the easy option in all his affairs and would make his law and religion easy. So remind people of the laws and signs of Allah, if the reminder will be of benefit, that is, so long as the reminder will be accepted and the exhortation will be listened to, whether the reminder achieves all or some of its purpose, 
The implication of the verse is that if their mind will not be of benefit in so, such a way that it will lead to more wickedness or it will detract from goodness, the reminding is not enjoined, rather it is prohibited. With regard to the reminder, people fall into two categories, those who benefit and those who do not benefit. And for those who benefit, Allah mentions them in the words, the one who fears Allah will pay heed. For fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and knowledge that he will requite each person for his deeds will make the person refrain from sin and strive in doing good. As for those who do not benefit, he mentions them in the words, while the wretched one will avoid it and the one who will enter the great fire which is the kindled fire that will reach right into the hearts in which he will neither die nor live that is he will be subjected to a painful punishment with no respite or relief so that he will wish for death but it will not be granted to him this is like the verse in which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says death will not be decreed for them so they might die nor will its punishment be alleviated for them he will indeed attain true success who purifies himself that is the one who purifies himself and cleans, cleanses himself of polytheism, wrongdoing, and bad characteristics will attain success. And reflect upon the sublime names of his Lord, so he prays. That is, remembrance of Allah becomes second nature to him, so he is motivated to do that which is pleasing to Allah, especially prayer, which is the foremost indicator of faith. This is the meaning of the verse. But you prefer the life of this world. That is, you give it precedence over the hereafter and he chooses pleasures that are fleeting and mixed with trouble over the hereafter even though the hereafter is better the hereafter is better than this world in, in all respects and more lasting because it is eternal and pure whereas this world is a transient realm so the wise believer does not choose that which is inferior over that which is superior and does not choose fleeting pleasure at the expense of eternal misery Love of this world and giving it precedence over the hereafter is the root of all sin. Verily this that is mentioned in the Surah of Sublime Commands and was interesting and interesting stories was in the earlier scriptures, the scriptures of Ibrahim and Musa, who are the noblest of the messengers apart from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. These commands are to be found in the teachings of other prophets because they led to the best outcome in both realms, and they serve people's interests in all times and places.